Kia ora. Let's now look at how to draw a ray diagram so that you find the position of the virtual image. So here we have from a past exam paper, somebody looking into a beaker of water. And where would they actually see the coin? Because they don't see the coin in this position because light uh, travels in different speeds in water compared to air, so it will refract or bend. So here it is enlarged a bit. Now the first step, what I like doing is choosing a point on the coin and drawing a guiding line. So here I've drawn a guiding line, so I know my lines I can do to the left of this, so it reaches the eye. And so that's the first thing I do, I choose to draw a line until it hits the surface. That is the interface and this is where the light is going to change speed. So I now need to draw the normal and the normal is always at 90 degrees to the surface change. So please always draw that in. Now because I'm going from a more optically dense to a less optically dense medium, I um, need to make sure that my angle of refraction is bigger than my angle of incidence. So the angle of incidence is always between the incoming ray and the normal. So there's my angle of incidence. So my angle of refraction is between the normal and the refracted ray. And you can see this angle has to be bigger than this because light travels faster in air. Now that I've done that, I simply repeat it with another ray. So I just do something slightly to the left of this one. And again, I draw my normal. And again, I make my incident ray uh, smaller than my refracted ray. And notice that these two lines I make diverging, not parallel, because I want them, when my next step is to extend both backwards, I want them to come to a point. And the point where they meet is this point of the coin that we first chose. So that is where the coin is now. And notice it is uh, upright like it was down there, but it is normally a little bit bigger because of course it looks closer to the eye. And the reason why we extend these lines backwards is because uh, our brain always sees light as coming in straight lines. And we say that the image is virtual because uh, light, the coin is not actually here. There's no light coming from this imaginary coin. I could wave my hand in over here and it wouldn't block any of the, I would still be able to see the coin even if I waved my hand in there because the light is actually coming from this point. And if you want to, the last step is to rub out the imaginary line. So, kia ora.